terrorist activity along the Suez Canal continues with the Lincolnshire Regiment manning security posts around the halfway port of Ismailia, a vital point in Britain's world sea routes and a recent trouble centre. Further north, at Port Said, troops unload vital supplies, for with the absence of Egyptian labour, Britain is keeping the canal open for shipping. The Air Force station at El Fadan receives a new insignia, a busy bee for a unit badge, a well-earned award for men who keep Middle East Air Force transport on the road. Back to Port Said, where the cruiser Gambia is the nerve centre of canal administration and a port committee from the three services meet daily to draw up plans. The Gambia also organises anti-thug patrols and all suspicious craft and activity on the vital waterway are speedily questioned. Here, a suspected vessel is boarded and thoroughly searched before being allowed to continue, while other patrols watch for attempts by saboteurs to wreck canal installations. The frigate Lok Skaveg is among the patrol ships. While homeward bound is the SS Orion, carrying some of the last families to leave the troubled area for safety. But the constant patrols go on, for only through combined service effort have over 16 million tonnes of the world's shipping been able to steam through the narrow waterway. And that shipping, including a Russian fishing fleet, should indeed be grateful to Britain's three services for a wonderful job, which might well be called Operation Waterway. Finally, to Tel El Kabir, well known to the 8th Army in World War II. And these pictures of Cameron Highlanders hard at play surely mean that the Middle East situation is well in hand.